All right, hey friends. Sorry I had to restart the video because I had a little technical difficulty. So we are ta we talked about this week two dimensional, which are flat front and back. Oh, that was not a good example. And then we talked about three dimensional, which have faces, vertexes, which I think that was the right way to say, or corners, and then they have edges. The edge face, edge vertex. <clears throat> Excuse me. And these only have these paper. These only have edges and vertex. They have one, two faces. All of them only have two faces. Okay. So we have a sorting thing. So we have three dimensional and two dimensional. So the three dimensional version of a rectangle is a cylinder. Three dimensional version of a triangle is a cone. Three-dimensional version of a circle is a sphere, and the three-d version of a square is a cube. Okay, you guys can see that. All right, now we're gonna sort them. So first things first. This is a triangle. A triangle is only is two-dimensional, so it goes on that side. Now I want you guys to see if you can guess. I'm gonna wait a second and see if you guys were right. See if you guys can guess if what I put down is the right one. Okay, now this is a cube. Is cube two dimensional or three dimensional? It's three dimensional. Okay, next one. A rectangle. A rectangle only has two sides, so it's two dimensional. That's how you can remember it's two sides. All of them have two sides, they have a front and a back. It feels like my rings are coming off because they're rubbing on my. my I got a paper pad, so I was cutting out stuff. And I was making it nice and neat, and the paper was so sharp, it cut my finger. So now every time I rub my finger against my rings, it feels like things are coming off. So God, I'm having hand issues right now. Moving on. Next one is a cube. Is a cube two-dimensional or three-dimensional? It's three-dimensional. Very good. Next one. What about a circle? A circle is two-dimensional. Next one. This is, this is an odd one. This is round, but it's flat. It kind of looks like a cylinder. It is. It's a, like a cylinder that's just pushed down. You know what it kind of looks like? kind of looks like a cat food jar or a tuna fish can. It's very small. Do you guys have those at home? Do you guys have dog food or cat food that comes in a small jar or tuna fish? I love tuna fish. Tuna fish is so tasty. I love tuna fish with celery and apples in it. When I was little, let me tell you guys a little story. When I was little, every Sunday, not Sunday, every Saturday, was cleaning day in my house. So I would help my mommy, me and my sister would help my mommy clean the whole house. We'd clean the bathrooms, we'd vacuum, we'd dust, we'd mop, we'd do all that stuff. And we'd wake up really early, we'd get that all done, and then for special lunch, she would make us tuna fish with cranberry juice. That was my favorite snack when I was little. And as we got older, she said, we don't need to have all the bread, so we'd eat crackers. And she would get all different types of fruit, and we would dip it in the tuna fish and have kind of like dip. It was so tasty. Maybe you guys can try to have tuna fish at home. I love tuna fish. Unless you guys are allergic to fish, which might not be a good idea, or you'll like it. But story time. I love tuna fish. That was my favorite. Every time I think of tuna fish, I get so excited because then I think of hanging out with my mommy and my sister. And Saturday, we would watch a special movie. We'd wake up, we'd clean, we'd do all our chores, we'd clean everything, and make sure everything was clean. And then we would sit down in the kitchen all together and we would have lunch. And then after we had lunch, we'd watch a special movie and then we would go do other things. So that's my memory. Whenever I think of tuna fish cans, I think of Saturday's cleaning, which isn't that bad. I like to clean, it's fun and hanging out with my mommy and my sister. And then my brother would be outside with my father doing all like the lawn work and stuff like that. In a very, I had a very silly growing up. Anyway, back to what I was doing, I'm sorry. I like telling stories. I don't have you guys here to tell the stories to. <sighs> I miss you guys. All right, back to our lesson. Let's get done really fast. All right, now what's this? This is a cube. It's Q, one, is it two dimensional or three? It's three dimensional, see? It has different sides. <coughs> Sorry. Next one. What about a cone? A cone for ice cream cone? Three dimensional. Next one. A square? Two dimensional. And up, up, up. A 
Angela. And then a circle, two dimensional. All right, guys, those were all our shapes. Next, we have one more little activity, real fast. So we're gonna continue patterns. Yeah, we haven't done any online um, learning about patterns, so I think I might add that to our Padlet next week. Oh, excuse me, next week we're talking about emotions. So we're gonna, we're gonna go read the story, the fields. I know how much you guys love the fields. Where the, I think it was the alpaca or the yeti? One of them, I don't remember. We gotta read the story and we'll find out. It's the yeti. He goes up the mount, he goes up the feeling mountains. And he meets the different, the different fields. He meets sad and happy and worried and mad and calm. So we're gonna read about that next week. But that was a little insight to what we're doing. For, for now, let's finish our shapes because it's the end of the week. It's Friday. Yay, Friday. I hope you guys are going to go have lots of fun this weekend. Go out and play in the sun. If it's sunny, I don't know what the weather's going to be like. But try to go outside. I know some of my friends are learning how to ride bikes at home, which is so cool. And I know some of my friends are on the trampoline, Jackson. I know you love the trampoline. So what you guys can do, go outside, have races, run around, get some fresh air. The weather's beautiful out, if it is. If it's rainy, then stay inside and have some tuna fish. All right, guys, next one. So we're doing shapes. So let's, uh, we're doing patterns of shapes. So this is the pattern. It's triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. What will be the next three? Let's think. The pattern is triangle, triangle, circle. So we have triangle, triangle, circle as a pattern. So let's continue it. Triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. That's the pattern continued. Next one. This one's a little tricky. It's square, rectangle, I'm mean, sorry, square, triangle, circle. Square, triangle, circle. What would the next one be? This is three patterns right here. It would be square, rectangle, circle, square, rectangle, circle. Let's do that one. Square, rectangle, circle. Ooh, my rectangles. Did the, did the camera just move? I think it slid down a little bit. Let's get it back where it was. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, next one. All right, so we have circles. Little, big, little, big, little, big. What would the next one be? Let's see. The first pattern is little, big. So we do a little circle and a big circle. That's continuing the pattern. Next one. I don't like the way the pattern on the top is falling. Let me write it. Ugh, that's not cool. That's why I like dry erase. It's much easier. There we go. That's much better. I like that one. That's better, right? Next one. Triangle, triangle. Oh, they have up triangle and down triangle. So we'll do the up, up, down. Up, up, down. Up, up, down. What would the next three be? Up, up, down. That's the pattern. Up, up, down. So up triangle, up triangle, down triangle. See that? All right, last one. So we have rectangle, square, whoop, there we go. Rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square. What's the pattern? Rectangle, square, okay? So long rectangle, and then for a square. Okay, there we go. And if you guys want, you guys can draw patterns at home and show them to me. You can take patterns with your toys, with the blocks. I saw my friend earlier this week, Emily, she made, she made different patterns with her, um, her building blocks. You can make patterns like that. You can do patterns in colors. You can do them in shapes. You can do numbers. Let's do a pattern with a number. Pretty cool. Let's do, hmm, what's my favorite number? My favorite number is 29. So we're gonna do two, nine, two, nine, two, nine. Okay, now let me continue my pattern, right? It's gonna be two, nine, then what's the next one? Two, nine, two, nine, two, nine. See, it's a pattern. A pattern with number. We can even do a pattern with letters. Let's do a pattern with letters. We'll do ABC. A, B, C. Oh, I skipped it. A, B, C, A, B, C. See this pattern, will the next one be? A, B, C. 
All right. Oops, sorry. Paper cup mess. A, B, C. All right, friends. That was our shapes for the week. I hope you guys learned a lot. And I hope you guys learn. I think I figured out what the word is. So, one corner meeting another. I know I can't let go of this thing. One corner meeting another is called the vertex. But if there's more than one, it's vertexes. And I don't think that that's the way that it's supposed to be said, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. So it's just a corner. So basically when two points meet together, it's a corner or a vertex. But if there's more than one, like that, they're vertices. Vertices? Vertices? I still don't know. But you guys will learn it when you get a little bit older. But it was nice to learn the word a little bit now. Maybe hear it. Maybe someone will tell you the right way to say it because I asked three teachers and three teachers gave me three different answers. So I don't know. My friends, I miss you. I can't wait for you guys to come back. I think you guys are gonna come back soon. I hear whispers that the school's gonna let all my friends back in a little, little while. So hopefully you guys can hold out till then and I will see you guys when you do get here. I miss you. I wish you guys were here because then you can hear all my fun stories and we do all our fun games and we do all our cool stuff. But until then, you guys have fun at home. Go out and don't forget to house mommies and daddies inside and clean because I did that when I was little. So you guys can do that too. You can go outside and garden because I know my friend Isaac, he was gardening a, a couple weeks ago. And you can go see flowers. You can see butterflies. If they're out there, you can find bugs. You can find frogs. There's so much fun stuff. It's the springtime, so all the leaves and all the flowers are coming out. So go outside and explore. Try riding your bike. Emily, I know, is riding, she's riding a two-wheeler now, which is super exciting. And we talked about Jackson being on his trampoline. If you guys are doing other fun stuff, when we have our Zoom, tell me about it so that we can talk about it. All right, friends, have a great weekend. I miss you. Bye.